Hello Grace Church and other friends listening in. I'm Graham Jones. It's Monday the 1st of June and today's psalm is Psalm 91. It's a psalm about the security of the believer. We could entitle it Safe with the Lord. Let's read the psalm, Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the dwelling, the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, and will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is a psalm about the security of the believer. In, in verses 1 and 2, uh, the psalmist is, is giving his testimony. The Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He has turned to the Lord. He has found security and safety and, and refuge in the Lord himself, the Most High, the Almighty. The Lord, my God, as he puts it in verse 2. And so in verses 3 through to 13, he, he goes on to encourage his friend. Uh, he goes on to encourage us individually to also trust in the Lord. He, he describes different perils that come in life and the protection that the Lord will bring. Like in verse 3, the fowler's snare, Satan seeking to trip us up in our faith. The deadly pestilence that, that brings fear to our lives. And yet the protection the Lord brings, verse 4, he will cover you with his feathers, the protective wings of the Lord and the, the strength and security of, uh, of the shield and ramparts of God. This is a, a divine insurance policy uh, for all the circumstances of life, for all the different things that we will face. And so in verses 14 to 16, the Lord speaks. The Lord speaks to those who love him. The Lord speaks to those who acknowledge his name. That's obey and follow his ways. The Lord speaks to those who will call on him in prayer. And what does he say? There are seven or eight promises in this section. I will rescue him. I will protect him. I will answer him. I will be with him. I will deliver him. I will satisfy him. I will show him my salvation. For those who love the Lord, acknowledge his name and follow his ways and call on him. He is their refuge. It, it reminds us of, of Paul's words in, in, in Romans chapter 8 that nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let us pray. Safe in the shadow of the Lord, 
beneath his hand and power. I trust in him. I trust in him, my fortress and my tower. Amen.